Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back, dolls. I'm looking a little crazy right now. I'm getting ready to take Jasmine to school. Um. Ooh, sun, sun, sun. Ooh. I am um, getting ready to take her to school. It is early. It is like um. <clears throat> 7.32. So yeah. Jasmine is cool. Let's put on some sunnies. So I don't look extra crazy. Got my hair out because I washed it yesterday. And deep conditioned. And this is my hair, y'all. My hair. It's snappy right now. It has a lot of grace, but it's mine. Uh, it's in like two pigtails and back. I'm gonna take Jazzy P to school real quick. Um, Mosonis! Mosonis. Let's put this on. Get her out of school. Uh, let's see if my coffee's done too. We leave around 7.40. We walk, walk her to school. And then get back home. Get on my work. I need to film and edit a vlog and there she is hi princess hi princess and there's my dog hi my king hi boy he's such a cute little boy yes you are you're such a cute little baby i want to put stickers on his forehead i feel like there's a lump in your pony Hi. He looks so cute. Hi. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I don't know if I told you guys, but happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, and I need to clean my house. It's a mess. You better look well I need to find. I need to know. To drink this. This is um, kombucha, Calvita, sparkling probiotic drink. This one's lemon and cayenne. I've been drinking it like a little bit each day because I need to flush my liver just just to get it back on track. Okay, if you guys don't know, I have an autoimmune liver disease, autoimmune hepatitis. It's not like hepatitis A and B or whatever where you get from shooting up. I got this from being born. <laughs> it was just life. Didn't know I had it and been going through bullshit and pain for years and years and years. Um, um, it makes it hard for me to work really badly because usually I, I, can work, I work eight hour night days on my feet the whole time. Of course, I'm a waitress. And um, now when I work, after a few hours, like my legs and my body and everything just feels like it's shutting down like so much pain so um right now i'm trying to work out to only working mornings like a few hours because usually there's a person coming in at night to recover to not recover to relieve the morning shifts so like if i go in at 11 somebody will be in around four to to relieve so we're working on that with my job right now um, because I'm not in a position to not be working. I'm going to make up this bed though. And, um, oh, the pain in my stomach, my stomach is bloat. I'm also dealing with, um, I know I probably should like be sitting down just talking to you guys about this. But if I do, I'll probably cry. So it's better to just say it this way. Um, also dealing with, um, uterine fibroids. But with my liver, um, like my liver will swell up so bad, my stomach everything is so painful and it hurts um my hands my skin everything gets like really itchy and burning it feels like it's on fire that bothers me my um my joints my hands my an ankles my knees my feet everything goes into really bad pain it's just horrible it's so horrible and um then i'm dealing with the fibroids and my uterus they said is like i am four to five months pregnant the size of it because it's um 
enlarged, my uterus is enlarged, which um, they did a, a biopsy for that. I did a liver biopsy for my liver to see how bad that is. I am on medication for my liver. The endo biopsy, endometrium biopsy, and back no cancer, wonderful. Liver biopsy, I know there was no cancer, but I don't know how bad my liver was um, yet. So I'm waiting for those results. And of course I'll run out of memory while I'm talking to you guys. But anyways, um, and because I have the fibroids, also I have heavy menstrual periods, which cause my iron to go really low. I had a blood transfusion in January of this year, and then I had, um, which didn't work, my blood was so low. I had two uh, iron transfusions, one in April, one in May, and that made it better. I know my iron went to like, all the way up to 13, because before it was like 6. 6.5 or something like that it went up to 13 but it's starting to come back down because last time I checked it was at 11 and that was like only a couple weeks apart so that was a few weeks ago don't know what it is now I know I'm supposed to go get blood done again so hopefully um it's like leveling out and staying but um after that endo biopsy oh my god they didn't tell me I was gonna bleed afterwards I bled I had just got off my period I had bled for like two weeks because I got off my period and then I started my period like a week later and I have only been off my period for like maybe a week when they did that biopsy and then I bled the whole time then I was on starting my period again it was just a mess like I'm tired of bleeding tired of all this shit and there's so much going on my husband's been so wonderful taking care of me but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and Get this shit finished up um give you guys give you guys an idea of what i'm going through um i have good days i have bad days today's pretty good so far um oh and the the fatigue that i get from the autoimmune disease is ridiculous like i'm always tired i feel like a lot of times like i've been drugged and i know i smoke weed okay i know this but it's not that because listen i've been smoking a whole lot less because i'm just too tired all the time and a lot of times i only smoke sativa anyways or my my um sorry I'm trying to make the bed and talk to you guys at the same time or my um my thc syrup is usually a sativa um so I usually yeah, I'll just like put the syrup in a drink instead of smoking because I've been trying to cut down and smoke not like actual smoking smoking but not cut down on the weed <laughs> not cutting down on that but anyways but I did stop drinking because uh, even though my liver disease isn't from alcohol alcohol will worsen it make it worse so all those fun times I had with alcohol are over. But it's okay because I got Mary Jane. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Sorry about making you guys dizzy. I couldn't really like put you guys on up on the tripod while I made my bed. But what's the fun in that? Anyways, I am going to work so much on getting you guys as much content as possible because like I'm like missing out on like a lot of content I could be bringing you guys so I am gonna make sure I uh, pick up pick up pick up pick up pick up pick up this camera as much as possible and bring you guys as much content as possible Let me bring you guys up a little higher as much content as possible I don't like this, this is textbooks. The macros are really good on this, so it should be okay. I gotta make sure keto because being on prednisone, prednisone, it's gonna make me a little puffy. So. I don't want to get puffy and I feel like my stomach is already starting to pop up but I haven't worked out I haven't been able to work out in a couple weeks because after I got my liver biopsy 
which was the same week as the end of biopsy. I got my liver biopsy. Um, I was in so much pain afterwards, just soreness, and I wasn't supposed to lift like more than five pounds, they said, or five or ten pounds for like ten days. So I didn't go to work. I haven't been to work. Um, they told me I could just pick up shifts as it's needed or whatever right now. But um, haven't been to work. Haven't worked out. I miss working out. So today I'm going to get on my my bike. I'm going to work out on the bike. I am going to film this hair review that I got to get done. Um, a sponsored video. And probably install my other hair. Probably. Got to cook dinner. I forgot what's for dinner for them today. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, took my shower. I am dressed. I'm waist training because, listen, I'm trying to get this waist snatched. Because if it's not snatched, I don't want it. Which is kind of hard when you have a liver that's more than double in size and a uterus that is like you're 16 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so, but we are going to um, ignore those facts and just work on snatching the waist and getting the fat off of the extra and then we'll let the doctors do their job. But yeah. And I'm going to put some struggle braids up in this hair real quick and do my wig review and then put my hair on the hair that I actually want to wear. Put the hair that I want to wear on. So yeah, let me get that going and I'll see you guys in a bit. That old mine's broken. My jade roller is broken. So here's the other the little piece. This is what I put under my eyes after. My bag. And it takes helps to get rid of the bags under my eyes because listen. It's in my jeans, people. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. It's in my jeans. So, Dr. What is this? Dr. Brandt. No more needles. No more. No more baggage. Yeah. That's the name of it. So, whatever. <sighs> This is like heated up, so I like put my hot breath on it. I love the tap. I just like tap, 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 in. All right, let's go get some makeup on. All right, guys, I just finished my hair review that I needed to do on this hair, so you guys will see that. I don't know if I'm gonna put it like at the beginning of this video or make it its own separate video, but yeah. I like it, it's synthetic, but it's cute. I wanted to um, get a blonde wig just to see how it would look on me with my, um, 
skin type and everything so I like it I really like it babe your girl might just go blonde because I am loving this blonde hair so let's go see what my son says he just got home I'm gonna just walk in his room see what he says how's it look you like it it looks good blonde huh this is a synthetic hair. This is one a uh, company has sent to me to review. It's not even human hair. I think it looks cute. It looks like a, a real housewife on TV. A Potomac. <laughs> real house. Real, what, what do you say? Housewife from Ontario. <laughs> real housewives of the IE. I'm going to start a group. They got a Facebook group for that? No. I gotta go get Jasmine, so I'm hungry. What am I gonna eat? I haven't ate yet. It is after 12, so it is time for me to eat. Time for me to eat. The sun likes it, my son, my baby, my baby boy. My kids are really good at telling me when they don't like something. Jasmine is still at the age where she doesn't like anything. And I remember when the boys were at the age, or things just like, ew, ew. But no, I, I take that back. Some days she's like, oh, mom, you look cute. Oh, that dress is cute. Oh, this is cute. But when I'm doing too much, she's like, no. She ain't here for it. Guys, I'm so annoyed. Just made some cereal and I over poured the damn cereal into my bowl. Like, this is way too much cereal. I'm like, I'm not eating all that. I don't even know what to do with it. It already has milk in it. I poured the milk first because I keep my cereal too so they don't eat it. And now, <laughs> what am I gonna do with all the cereal? That's like, ah. Uh, five dollars of cereal being wasted because that bag was like thirteen dollars and that's a lot in there <laughs> well all right guys i'm back from picking jasmine up from school i'm loving this hair it's so cute i love this color anyways i'm about to do my nails um i'm on a budget so i'm gonna do some press on nails this is what they look like i'm gonna show you i don't know how well you can see them they're on my laptop and my laptop is like super glittering but yeah look at i think it's doing pretty good it looks so cute um put those on really quickly prep my nails prep the nails and then put them on and i will show you guys when they're done all right guys i did my nails this is how they look how they came out quick little pop on set because your girl's on a budget I got no glue all over my laptop cover, so on my laptop. I don't know how that happened. I get glue everywhere, every time, so I got to clean it off and take it off before I got glued to my laptop. That looks bad. Oh. I hate that for me. I hate that for me. But my nails are cute, so I'm gonna figure out what's for dinner. I'm gonna figure out what's for dinner. Start to cook dinner. Husband's on his way home. And, um, yeah. See you guys in a bit. Dinner I made for my family, some chicken, rice, and some corn. And somebody peeping this food. <laughs> I just made me two chicken legs with some Alfredo with zucchini noodles, and I put a little bit of baby bell pepper in there. It's my dinner. <laughs> oh my god, oh geez. <laughs> I may or may not have the munchies. Keto bread. 
cream cheese, strawberries, whipped cream, and cinnamon and sugar. Well, Splenda. Box thing going over mm -hmm. this shit. Hope you it up. Man. Keep going in fat. What's good guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm starting this vlog off late. It is like 4... 15. And we are about to go run some errands. Actually not really errands. We're just gonna go get some snacks from Dollar General or something. So maybe I'll see you guys in there. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll see you in a little bit. I just didn't bring my camera. Get some Halloween stuff out. Ooh. These are cute. Light flashes. The flying glass ones. Got some fall home decor. Oh, I want to. Two pumpkin autumn leaves. Oh, it's not done. How much is this? Five dollars. I think I should get one. Five dollars. Hello, Paul. Why does it be cute on my table? How much is it? Six dollars. Skinny pop, some cleaning supplies. Some deodorant for the baby girl. And I got me a candle. Went ahead and got me a fall candle. It's autumn leaves and pumpkin, please. Pumpkin, please. Pumpkin, please. Let's go. Jazzy. No. You don't like it? Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm buying this kid nothing no more. Look at that cute little squishy. Where's Trinity at? I'll give it to Trinity. Damn, you ungrateful little stingy little. Uh, um, move, nigga, stop recording me. Nigga, move. I got a fucking case. Let me show you what. They didn't have that. That's all they had. Nah, that one ain't there. You better break bread. Where's my sugar? Here. Oh, she didn't even like what I got her. She don't like what I got her. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, guys. Back from. Oh no. Let's cook some pork chops in the family. Don't feel like cooking, but I guess they gotta eat. So. Thing that they had all brought up earlier. The number of incidents of shootings 
<laughs> My baby did not like her squishy about her. It's all right, it's all good. She's a preteen. Preteens don't like anything their moms do. So, no matter what, no matter what I do. Hey, Romney, no matter what I do, it won't be right, so don't come for my baby. She's just emotional. She's a girl. She's going through it. Um, Seems to be the suspect from yesterday. We'll have that confirmed by 10 o'clock. I hope you have. So we'll see you there. From Highland Avenue, Christina Gonzalez, back to you guys. And we'll have that press conference live at the Fox 11 News special report coming out at 7 o'clock tonight as well. Christina, thank you so much. Thank you, Christina. Meanwhile, the officer. This is going on one side of it. Got buttery rub. Steakhouse buttery rub. Probably for steak, but. I think I used it on chicken before, and it was really good. Okay, I'm going to do. This on one side of the pork chops. And then to the other side with um, the government pepper one. I love mixture. Oh shit, what you making girl? Pork chops. That's not enough. Sure ain't. So that means I get one. Hmm. Means Perhaps your dad's. And Jasmine. And Jimmy's, nigga. I don't think this is gonna be a family meal today. Yeah, it ain't got not be. enough. This is gonna be the three of us. And what about me? You are on the diet. You can't eat I can't eat pork chops. I'm gonna eat my pork chops with my pasta. Not these ones. I'm gonna eat one pork chop. Dad's probably gonna eat these two. These are Daddy's gonna eat two or three of them. No, yeah, no. At least Jasmine one and at least me one. Jasmine one and me one. No. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I don't think. Your body would have got two packs to come here to work. You have to follow the rules of the workplace. The city attorney's back the council and said that he was supreme court. Sorry, Pepper. Leave it, Pepper! Pepper. <laughs> I feel like I should just use up the parsley flakes now. <laughs> uh, if I use it up, I don't have to cook it. This is one in the pan. Make some mashed potatoes go with it. Just regular box mashed potatoes. Whatever. Quick, easy dinner. And um, probably gonna probably make some corn or some. I've been vlogging like almost every day. I've been rolling out content on content. Content on content. And I'm forgetting I'm about to get copyrighted with music. Yeah, but anyways, let me read for that. Match And pork chops for them. Probably with some broccoli or some um,
200 million people watching. Like, I just need to roll out the content. This is what I wanna do. This is what I need to do. I need to work on it and I need to get this stuff out and get you guys to watch. So yeah. There's my dinner. My dinner. Pork chops and the leftover pasta. I'm about to grow up. I'm hungry. And then my little beggar thinks he's about to get something. Yeah, go away. Bye bye. Not getting nothing. And my princess over there is supposed to be eating her dinner. Put the phone down and eat, please. I'm trying to edit. Hurry up.